You know, the pandemic has caused a lot of people to take a second look at their leisure time, spending more on the things they enjoy. And that's especially true in the boat market. Some high end boats that are truly world class are made in North Carolina. It may be the middle of winter, but the people who create power boats perfect for a summer day on the water are hard at work. Builders can't keep up with the demand from the consumers. It's just crazy. OBX Boat Works is known for saltwater fishing boats designed for the waters off the Carolina coast. That distinctive bow with a huge flare designed to be comfortable even in rough seas. And of course, it was developed that way because the, you know, the graveyard of the Atlantic. I mean, that's why it's called the graveyard because it just ate boats because our seas were so rough. It had you know, ochre coke. And um, so the Carolina hull was developed by the guys back, you know, Willie, Willett, and I mean, all the guys in the old days, and they developed this hull because it could handle the seas. A couple of years ago, Flater met the man behind another well-known brand, Jaguar Power Boats. They decided to start working together, even though Jaguar specializes in twin hull catamarans. With the speed comes a more efficient hull. It's able to run through the water more efficiently, better fuel economy, things of that nature. So they make a really good crossover boat for leisure now, especially in the fishing. While their designs are different, their philosophy is the same. They let faith guide their decisions, and they want to build a business that's good for them along with the local economy, creating jobs. It was worth moving their manufacturing operation from Florida all the way to Thomasville. There's more space, you know, and you get more for your money. And um, that's why it's ideal, you know, and, and there's places nearby where they can go test the boat and, uh, you know, whichever one they need to do. And, and it's, a, it's a great location in that aspect. It's only a few hours from the coast. Testing is done just down the road at High Rock Lake. These aren't the 22-foot bass boats you normally see there. OBX makes boats up to 38 feet, Jaguar up to 55 feet. And they're working together to create a third company, Quantico, that does fiberglass work for other builders. We have some uh, you know, other boat companies that are contracting us now. So just being able to bring more and more manufacturing to Carolina, more families, the more families we can help, the better off we'll be. It comes down to manpower, using the people they have in the most effective way. There's no downtime. So if we got fiberglass work going on in OBX, and then that transitions into rigging, but then we got fiberglass work, our people, now, you know, we share people, we share employees, and everybody, you know, makes us much more efficient. Right now, business is wide open, developing a line of smaller skiffs while filling a long list of orders. Some deliveries are as much as two years out. We're doing a very good job of maybe better than people anticipated. We're starting to get contracts from uh, the Netherlands. We have boats that are going to Sweden, right from good old North Carolina, you know, and that's a good proud moment for us. They may be in the heart of Davidson County, but OBX, Jaguar, and now Quantico are born with the ocean just down the road and ready for years of memories made out on the open water. And you can find out more by going to their websites, obx-boatworks.com and jaguarpowerboats.com. Also planning to add as many as 30 employees this year. So if you're interested, even if you don't have experience, they still want you to apply. Just go to their webpage and you'll find all the contact information there.